Good morning, Dominique. It's Sunday. Asian forest. Eating a grasshopper or eating a spider? I ask this because the theme of today's video is eating weird things. I was a strange little child. That's all you really need to know. Most kids experiment with like eating their boogers and I tried that when I was like around four or five years old and they were good, but I just wanted to really go outside the box and try something that no one else had ever tried before. I was a child who defied the norms. I, I carved a new path in what inedible things were actually pretty tasty. I remember sitting in the bathroom at home and just eating toilet paper and tissues and I don't know why. It must have had a good texture. And I, I felt a little guilty, to tell you the truth, because I knew I shouldn't have been eating it, and yet I just couldn't stop. I just go in there and sit on the toilet and have a nice sheet of toilet paper to bide the time. I also faintly recall eating paper, paper. A little hard to digest, you know, you have to let the saliva break it down a little before you can swallow, but it, it was a fairly nice texture too. A little chewy, something to non. However, my favorite, the weirdest thing I ever ate that people usually don't eat, was chapstick. I mainly stuck to the minty ones. I, I didn't like the cherry or strawberry. Mint, you ate it and it, it just had a, a nice like aftertaste. You had fresh breath, you had a snack. What's not to like? I remember eating my mom's chapstick. I'm sure she knew, but back then I thought I was sneaky and I thought she didn't know because I think she had like multiple chapsticks. So I'm like, well, if one goes missing, she won't know. But my sister, on the other hand, she knew all too well. I remember taking my sister's mint chapstick, the 99 cent kind, it's not overly expensive. And I went and sat behind a chair. That's where I did a lot of naughty things like coloring on the walls. Like no one's gonna know if you sit behind a chair. And I was just gnawing away at it. And Jocelyn found out and got really mad that I was eating her chapstick and just like flipped out and was like crying and telling my mom that I ate her chapstick. Make me feel really guilty for just having a little innocent guilty pleasure. Since I was into eating a lot of weird things, there was one time when I was little, I was sitting on the kitchen counter near some ant poison and I remember like playing with it because I thought it was cool, I didn't know that it was like poisonous and you could die from it. And because of that, my mom and sister thought I had eaten it and kept interrogating me, trying to like get me to confess to eating it. And it got to the point where I stopped saying no and started saying I don't know because it was like they thought I had done it to such an extreme point that, and then I thought that maybe I had and just didn't remember. So I was like, I don't know. Obviously I didn't. I'm here, I didn't eat the freaking poison, but you know, I was weird enough that my family thought I would, so. Dominique, I hope the rest of your weekend goes well, and I will see you on Monday. If you ever wondered what chapstick tastes like, mint chapstick, I wouldn't know about the other ones, it's like Room temperature, take jello, room temperature jello, let it harden a little bit. Let it nice and dry. And that's about the texture. I mean, that sounds gross, but it was pretty good.